What is up everybody? It's your boy. Welcome to the latest and greatest episode of walking and not talking this time, but hiking with Pete. Yes, I'm up here in Table Rock, South Carolina, uh, Table Rock State Park, and uh, they convinced me uh, to very foolishly to take a hike up to Table Rock. It's only, uh, well, 3.6 miles up, straight up to the top of the mountain. And uh, of course, 3.6 miles back. So 7.2 miles total for your boy. Uh, this will be the longest walking and talking video I've ever done. Obviously, I'm not going to uh, record this video for, I think it takes about five hours is what they're saying. That's even if I make it. <laughs> I might not make it. But uh, I'll be checking in with you periodically throughout the uh, hike here. And you'll see me progressively get more tired uh, and, and probably pretty angry too in the meantime. And we'll even talk some football on the hike. How about that? All right. All right, folks. <laughs> checking in. Uh, we're right at the one mile mark here. So we're about, about a third of the way to the top of, of the mountain. The first, I'd say, half a mile was ridiculously hard. Uh, it was just straight uphill, uh, stepping on rock after rock, uh, straight uphill. But uh, it's, pretty, it's beautiful up here. If it wasn't so tiring, um, I stopped to smoke a cigarette earlier. And you should have seen, there's people out here that are serious hikers now, okay? Uh, I'm just some jabroni up here with the family, seeing if uh, I can kill myself on the, t on the way to the top of this mountain. But I stopped to smoke a cigarette, and you should see the look on the uh, the serious hiker's face. Like, what in the hell is this guy doing climbing a mountain smoking cigarettes? But anyway, uh, it gave me my second win, yes. Um, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later, uh, maybe at the halfway point, and then uh, on the second uh, leg of this uh, uphill climb here. I think we got like maybe another 45 minutes till we get to the halfway point. And I'll check in with you then, all right? All right. I don't know exactly how far in we are, probably about two miles. Um, I'm gonna attempt to talk to you about some football on the way up uh, climbing these rocks. So if I'm looking down, it's because I don't wanna fall, all right? So, I did uh, get a chance to go to the spring game last uh, Saturday, and I want to give a couple of my thoughts on that. Uh, my thoughts are, I didn't really learn anything. I didn't learn anything at all, actually. Everything I thought going into the game, or the practice scrimmage, whatever you want to call it, uh, is exactly what I saw. Uh, the criticism of the way DJ played based on his statistics, he does need uh, to uh, work on his footwork a little bit. But some of those uh, incomplete passes were drop balls. Uh, there was a couple of bad ones, a couple of good ones. That, that touchdown pass he made to Ngata in the corner of the end zone was a dime piece. Uh, but he's got some things to work on, no doubt about it. Um, Cade Klubnik looked uh, pretty good. It's hard to tell. I mean, he's only been on campus for a couple of months. You know, they, they ran very vanilla style offense on both sides of the ball. Uh, they're throwing the walk-ons. Uh, I don't know how it is at every, at every other school, but Clemson plays every single person that dresses out for the spring game. So I think like, I don't know, 70 something guys dressed out, something like that. They played all 70 something of them. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, Clemson won the game though. I did see that the scoreboard said that Clemson won. I was extremely happy about that. Other than that, um, I mean, look, man, we already knew the defense was elite. So I don't know why I was like so surprised that the defense looked good and the offense had a hard time moving the ball. Uh, newsflash, every single person on Clemson's schedule, every single team on Clemson's schedule is going to have a hard time moving his ball against this loaded defense. So anyway, I didn't see any of the spring games. What's today? Sunday? Oh, happy Easter, by the way. Um, I didn't see any of the spring games yesterday. I think Alabama had their spring game yesterday. Uh, I think maybe Georgia did. Uh, so I don't know. I didn't see anything. I haven't really, I've been really uh, disconnected from, 
from YouTube and whatnot pretty much the entire time I've been out of town, so for nine days now. But uh, I'm sure they looked good in their, in their practices, just like Clemson did. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if Golden Blue Man's watching this video. Golden Blue Man, guess who I'm up here with? Guess who I'm hiking with right now? A bunch of West Virginia graduates. Yes, a bunch of mountaineers brought me into the mountains. I think that when they get up here, they're gonna try to uh, kill me or something, I don't know. I think that's their evil plan. Uh, they might not have to, I might die on my own accord before we even get to the top. All right, guys, I will, uh, I'll check in with you uh, very soon. On a little bit of a flat stretch right now, but check this out. I don't know if you can see that. Probably can't really see it very well because of all the trees. But uh, some of the views up here are amazing. That's for sure. So I think we're, I don't know how many miles in, two and a half miles, maybe three miles, I don't know. But uh, like I said, it's 3.6 miles to the summit, to the very top, and 3.6 miles back. I think we're probably pretty close to three quarters of the way up. And from what these guys are telling me, because they do this every year, um, the worst is pretty much over. There's one really bad part to, right close to the top where I guess they carved uh, kind of like stairs into the face of the mountain. And you have to basically climb straight up those uh, those stairs that, were, that are man-made, which has uh, got to be a pretty crazy uh, engineering feat. To get all the way up this mountain with machinery that can cut stone i mean can cut uh, steps into the face of the mountain so that's very cool i i guess when i get there i'll probably uh show you what that looks like because they're telling me it's pretty cool looking i don't know but uh seems like the worst is over i'm still alive um but check in with me again soon this is the stairs yeah it looks more like they just took like a jackhammer to it yeah, or something I was bragging about the engineering feat. It looks like they just took it. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, it probably wasn't even a big jackhammer either. No. Hard to hug a hole up here. Yeah, wait, wait, your dad's uh, for a break. We're almost to the top, right? What are we at? Three mile marker? Uh, let's go look at this sign over here. Actually, I don't feel like climbing up there. See if I can zoom in on it. It has the elevation, 2,854 feet. Maybe my view for a minute here. All right, so we're less than a half a mile to the top, but this is the one of the worst parts that we've been going up right here. It's extremely steep. As at a couple points, you have to climb. Oh. A fall. Uh, but this is pretty cool, though. Uh, no injuries yet either. I haven't fallen <laughs> or anything. Uh, knock on rock. Uh, this is what I was talking about. You have to climb. Uh, 
How you doing? Now look at this. Look at that. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, there you go. Look at that view. Mountains as far as the eye can see. Here's a better view. A lot of trees in the way. Uh, I'm right on the edge of this boulder here. Look at that though. All right, we're almost to the top, but there is apparently a good viewing point right here on this rock. Scared to step out on this thing. <laughs> oh, that's not something you want to fall down. But yeah. We are extremely close now. I think we're right at three and a half, so like should only be like 0.1 more miles up here, which uh, on this trail can take a second, but. I see it. I see it. I knew it was a drone. Somebody got a drone up here. You ever hear someone say they're going to scream from the mountaintops about something? We can actually literally do it right now. Hey, the Gamecocks suck! I just screamed it from the mountaintops. Speaking of the Gamecocks, I haven't been on YouTube much at all, really, as far as watching videos. I just get a lot of notifications whenever I get service. But somebody else on Twitter, somebody on Twitter posted something about a, a video that Carolina Jackpot made after the Clemson spring game. And, uh, and he said that based on what he saw in the spring game, that the Gamecocks were going to beat Clemson <laughs> in the regular season. Now, I don't know if he was trolling because I haven't seen the video yet. Uh, so I don't know if he was trolling or if he was being serious. But if he's being serious, I mean, God help this guy. God help Carolina Jackpot. I like him. But why do they continue to do this themselves? Uh, continue to convince themselves every single offseason that they, that they could beat Clemson. Uh, and, you know, of course, you'll say, yeah, they beat them five times in a row or whatever back in, uh, when Steve Spurrier was there. Uh, that was the best run in their history. Uh, and it's not happening again anytime soon, I can promise you that. I didn't see the, the South Carolina spring game either. Uh, did they have a quarterback that wasn't 30 years old uh, that transferred from an FCS school? I'm not sure who it is. Uh, oh, yeah, it's Spencer Rattler. I almost forgot about him. You want to know why? Because everybody did. They've convinced me to climb down below this face of this rock, uh, which doesn't look like <laughs> the best idea ever. But... Uh, now in my younger days, I'd go down there, but dude, like, this is good. Yeah. You can get back up you, you, but you're talking about that rock way down yeah, there? Yeah, used to, yeah. Because you just kind of bang to there. I mean, I, there, yeah. Kinda, I don't like it. I don't think we should do it now, but it's just saying. Or you could go around that way, maybe. Go over there, too. It's just saying, there's more a lot of cool places to kind of give a good eyes view of how high up you really are. Yeah. Because now you can really see where that lake is, yeah. Because yeah. people that hang out down here. Like, whenever we would come up here in the past, they'd be, like, down here chilling. You, you're really brave. That's why it'd be hard to die. Exactly. <laughs> cool up here, though. So, 
that's it. All in all, I enjoyed it. Uh, pretty rough at sometimes uh, getting up here. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, of course, we're only halfway there. we got to go all the way back down. But from what they're telling me, it's a lot easier to go down than it is to, uh, to go up, obviously. So that's going to conclu conclude uh, hiking and talking with Pete, uh, episode one, and probably the final episode. Uh, I don't see myself doing any more hiking and talking videos anytime soon. But thanks for uh, hanging out. I'll see you guys tomorrow when I get home. Your boy, chicken out.